The 2T Stalker serves as an armored reconnaissance and combat vehicle. It was initially developed by the Belarusian Miniter Service Enterprise as an independent project, with some support from Russia. The first operational prototype was unveiled in 2000. Designed to function up to 300 kilometers within enemy territory, this reconnaissance vehicle initially sparked discussions about potential use by the Belarusian military in small quantities. Despite being offered for export, no orders were placed for this vehicle, leading to its non-production. The 2T Stalker was intended for independent or small group operations involving three to four reconnaissance vehicles. Its primary purpose was conducting reconnaissance deep behind enemy lines. The vehicle could also engage in offensive operations by ambushing enemy convoys, capitalizing on its speed, maneuverability, and firepower. Additionally, it could be employed for combat search and rescue missions for downed pilots. The frontal armor of the Stalker could withstand hits from 30mm projectiles, while all-round protection was effective against 14.5mm rounds. Impressively, the vehicle had mine protection on par with main battle tanks, capable of surviving explosions equivalent to about 10 kilograms of TNT. Nonetheless, the Belarusian designers emphasized that the vehicle's design primarily emphasized speed and off-road capability to avoid direct confrontations with the enemy. The weaponry of the 2T Stalker included a fully stabilized 30mm cannon from a BMP-2 IFV, coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, and a 30mm automatic grenade launcher. Notably, the vehicle featured a unique aspect, retractable launchers carrying two Attica, at, 9 Spiral, 2, or Sturm, at, 6 Spiral, anti-tank guided missiles, as well as two Igla, SA-18 Grouse, anti-aircraft missiles. These could engage helicopters or UAVs. During travel, these launchers were stored within the turret, with additional missiles inside the hull. The vehicle was also capable of transporting extra equipment, including landmines and specialized equipment pods. For firing weapons and tracking targets, the vehicle employed a sighting system, which also facilitated reconnaissance data transmission to higher command posts. Its combat survivability was improved through stealth characteristics, attributed to the vehicle's shape without sharp edges and special coating materials. The vehicle emitted minimal noise for a tracked armored vehicle and included laser detectors triggering smoke grenade launchers when targeted by enemy laser-guided ATGWs. Operated by a crew of five, commander, gunner, driver, and two scouts, the vehicle utilized a modified engine derived from the T-72 main battle tank, producing 740 horsepower. Its high-speed track chassis incorporated components from the Russian 2S6 Tunguska air defense system. The Stalker was reputed to achieve speeds of up to 95 km per hour on roads and maintained exceptional mobility off-road. Its unrefueled range spanned 1,000 km. A hydropneumatic suspension allowed the vehicle to lower itself for cover while moving at low speeds and execute 10-meter ramp jumps. The vehicle could sustain continuous operations behind enemy lines without logistical support, carrying ammunition, water, and rations.